Hello, this is Bethany O'Rear, Regional Agent for Alabama Extension. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about weed control, a part of our series for home vegetable gardeners called Grow More, Give More. At the end of this talk, you'll see a list of several publications you might find useful at our website, aces.edu. Weeds are the bane of every gardener's existence. You may be surprised, however, to discover how often gardeners disagree about what a weed is. The definition of a weed is simply a plant that is growing where it's not wanted. So if my neighbor is growing dandelions for salad greens, they're growing a crop, but when it comes over to my plot, to me it's just a weed. A weed doesn't know it's unwanted, so it's going to compete with your crops for every bit of sunshine, fertilizer, and water and not think twice. Weed control is easiest when done in advance. When I say the best offense is a good defense, that's because weeds will sprout from a prior year's garden or that of your neighbor's plot. If you assume that's going to happen, you can prepare before you even put a new seed in the ground. The three methods of weed control follow a recommended timeline, prevention of weeds altogether, mechanical control when weeds are still small and easily removed, and chemical use when other methods have failed. Prevention means preparation. Your planting area should be cleared of last season's growth so as to remove weed seeds. And when I say season, that means after the last crops were harvested, which could be multiple times a year, not just in winter. Plant your vegetables at the recommended distances, not too close, but close enough to help crowd out unwanted plants. Once your seedlings are up or your transplants are in, mulch around the plants, leaving enough room for fertilizer and water. Mechanical control may mean simply pulling a weed or using a tool or string trimmer for removal. If you're checking your garden daily, then hand pulling is often the simplest method. If you're going to use a hand tool such as a rake, hoe, or cultivator, make sure to shop for a tool that feels good in your hands and doesn't strain your back. If you use a string trimmer, make sure you feed the string short enough not to damage stems and acknowledge you'll probably need to do a little manual labor right next to the plants. Chemical control should be the last resort for the home vegetable gardener. Be careful not to apply herbicides on windy days and take whatever precautions you can to avoid drift, which can damage or kill desired plants. The most important thing about use of any approved chemical in the garden is the label is the law. So make sure to read the label in advance and take all precautions it advises to protect you, your garden, and your family. For more information, check out the resources at our website, asis.edu. Have gardening questions? We have answers. Call the Master Gardener Helpline at 877-252-4769. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy gardening.